Welcome everybody to Knowledge by Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you a simple way how we can use Gusto. I will show you how we can uh, hire people, I will show you how we can work with employees, how we can run payroll, how we can pay contractors, how we can add bank, how we can also integrate new apps in Gusto, literally everything here. So using Gusto is really simple and if you don't know what to do, like there are plenty of tutorials that can help you and people at Gusto are really helpful so let's just start. The first thing that we are going to do is when you have a company in Gusto, go to company details and literally edit here anything. Locations, pay schedule, bank account and federal tax setup if you have it. Also California and then company signatory if you have one. So also definitely recommend like choosing the pay schedule here. Then what you can do is go to settings and then you're going to see how to zoom in integrations and if you're using QuickBooks or Xero you can use it with two or Shopify. Then we have a payroll here, plan and billing again and customization like enabling departments if you want to use them in the future. If you would go to right top corner uh, you're gonna see account preferences here and you can change password, change email and everything. So let's just start now. The first thing that we are going to do is that we are going to hire people. When we are going to hire people, you have options to hire a new person. Now, you can hire an employee or a contractor. So, I will first choose employee. Now, you can send an offer letter if you want to. Let's continue. First name, just add here. Start date, when the employee is going to start. Department, you can create a new department because I enabled in my settings. Okay, then we're gonna have a manager here. Like, uh, if you don't have one, we can create it too. It's not that hard, not that simple, not that like hard to do. Work address, again, we edit that in the settings. Then we're gonna see the job title here. Employees type, it can be salary, salary eligible for overtime, paid by the hour, commission. Amount can be like 50. Then additional compensation types. This employee will receive commission. Okay, we can do that. Employee status, full time. And does this employee have a special tax status? No, save. Now to continue. We see it here. So what I need to do is order business cards and you can add your tasks here. What you can do also is add mark one to payroll. Uh, assign an onboarding body, start, I'm going to just add him to payroll, personal mail, vacation, vacation policy, sick policy, okay, time tracking, uh, looking like invited to track time with Gusto, save and continue. Now then we're gonna see documents here, employee handbook, employee eligibility, save and continue, welcome options, Email mark, um, reminder and welcome note. Nice, save and continue and review. We invite on October 21, receive a welcome from Zemlag LLC, starts work, send invitation. And voila, this is how we finish uh, the how we can hire a person in Gusto. Now, when we have like, this is a demo account with multiple uh, people here. What you can do now is also hire a contractor and this is really similar, but much easier. Contractor type is individual or business. Then you're gonna see like the department if you have it. First name. Yes, file the report for me. No, I already filled. Again, none. Start date 29. Hourly eight, fixed dollar a month. Again, contractor access. Let's add your email. Save and continue. Voila, again, employee documents, save and continue. And voila, you invite in Marcus Tonelius to enter their information. Invitation sent. Now we just need to apply, accept, and then you will see everyone in people. Here in people, you're gonna see all your employees, right? When I'm going to like choose employee here, now we got a employee details here, status, pay stubs here, work address, compensation, 
earning type. We can literally change everything here, right? Then you're going to see the personal things here. Time off. Documents, benefits and notes. Now. Then you can like actions to start employee dismissal. This is something that you can do too. So going even further, this is how you can hire people and this is where you can find your people. Then you get like this COVID-19 resources and updates if you want to use them like PPP for giving this report. Then we're going to see time tracking. Uh, like on the last, we will go on a run payroll. But right now I want to show you the time tracking here. This is like really cool thing. That you can actually like set up teams hours. And for contractors and for also for employees. So this is really cool thing that you can do. We can manage the time tracking here. And change everything here. So start of the week, Monday, no's required, no. Missing break alerts disabled, overtime rules, weekly, daily, daily double. Again, you can edit literally everything. This is when you, for the first time, when you would be creating time tracking, you would see these things here. Weekly overtime, daily overtime, daily double overtime. You can set this up as, as you want. Now, what is really good, you can create also a new set of rules and people uh, like will need to track everything, right? Employees. So now when you got it, we can go to time off. Time off is good for sick days and also for vacation. So record employees time off. Now I will choose someone. What kind of time off is it? Vacation or sick days? Vacation 28 to 31. Full days, you're recording 24 hours. Email will have 41 hours remaining. Record time off. Ah, okay. I won't be able to do that, I will be. So this is how we do it. It's pretty simple and pretty easy. Then you get a benefits here. Uh, that you can get like life insurance, company car, and also integrate the active benefits for health, financial health. This is not that hard to do. Then to go further, you're going to see stay compliant. That you can like employ tax reporting and payment for business. Another thing that I really like to use is the team insights and team insights are like questions for every month for your employee, how they are happy, etc. And you can simply edit questions here. So in edit questions, you're going to see teamwork management and you can choose which questions you personally like and prefer to ask employees so that's what you can do now to run a payroll i will show you how to do that so this is how we how we do it and then the team insights you would see in analytics the survey and this is how it look like what the employee will get people on my team are held accountable for their performance agree i feel like i'm part of the team agree etc now, to go further, let's go run payroll and how we can actually run it. So, yeah, I'm going to open it up. And go to like this demo account. And let me show you run payroll and when you're going to be here you can choose between regular payroll or this one here we can run payroll and now let's see the first thing is that you can choose like who do you want to actually pay money then when i get like baron isaiah we see like 40 hours i can go to 20 and as you can see the gross pace automatically change you can also add bonus here cash tips other earnings and you can actually choose like literally every fun, everyone here. 
Now, you just scroll down below, save and continue. Now, you're going to see time off. So, we're going to see like, okay. We're going to see Hana had a six hours, five. Brolin had 10 vacation. Paid time. And Sig again 10. So, now when you got it, let's click save and continue. And now we just need to wait until it's going to load. Okay. Now to see, we're going to see like all the things that, okay, what my company is going to pay, what employers worked and take home, and what gets taxed and debited. You can see it right here. Now, what I'm going to do is just simply click submit payroll. And it will automatically be sent. You did it, Jaden. And this is how you can simply do it. So then what you can do also is a full summary. And while it's going to load, I want to show you how you can pay contractors. And this will be it for today. So introduce you faster contractor payments. Again, I got see uh, the, the two contracts that I have here. So this is the report that I have. If you want to like present to someone or save it somewhere, etc. So I would get enter payment here. Okay, enter payment here. 50 hours. And this is the wage of $100. Continue. Now you just have to submit payments. And you can cancel one or more payments if you want to, but this is how we do it. So this is how we can simply use Gusto. Uh, you can also choose for the benefits. I literally show you everything how to do it. Uh, Gusto is really simple. Definitely uh, write in the comments if you have any questions or write to do Gusto support. They are really helpful. And yeah, thank you very much everybody for watching and have a great day and goodbye guys. See ya.